Hi, I'm Heidi from The Lanyard Ladies, and today I'll be showing you how to make a fancy Chinese staircase friendship bracelet. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. You're gonna pick five colors. So pick five of your favorite colors. It's gonna be about 15 inches long, and you don't even need to keep it straight, and you're gonna tie a knot at the top. You're gonna take your cardboard. You're gonna make a slit at the bottom and a slit at the top. You're going to put your strings into the top to secure it. Take a piece of tape, tape the back, and this way it'll hold it in place for you as you're working. And take your cardboard and place it into your clipboard. Now you're going to pick one color to start with. So I'm going to start with blue. And the rest of the colors, you're going to secure it in the bottom of your clipboard. Now in order to make a Chinese staircase, you're going to be doing a backward knot, which is your D. So you can put a D on your board to help remind you. And that's, and there's, we can also make some lines here to show you where you're gonna change the color. When your blue gets to this first line, that's when we're gonna change our color. You're gonna make a D around the back, through the big loop, pull to the top, and tighten. Make a D around the back, through the big loop, pull to the top, and tighten. Keep making backward knots until you get to your first line. D around the back through the big loop, pull to the top and tighten. D, the tail end goes through the big loop, pull to the top and tighten. Make sure that your stitches line up one under the other and not on top of each other. And when you're making this bracelet, it's easy to get a knot sometimes, but you can just take a paper, a safety pin, and you can pick the knot out and start over. So don't think that you have to throw the whole thing out and start. Just use your safety pin and get your knot out. Now with this fancy Chinese staircase, right before you get to the line, we're going to leave ourselves a little space, and we're going to put a little bit of black in there. It makes the bracelet look much different than a normal Chinese staircase bracelet. I'm going to do about two more stitches and then we're going to do three stitches of the black to separate the colors. Okay. So now we're going to take all of our strings out from the bottom of the board, take your black out, Put that to the side, put all your strings back in the bottom of the board. Now you're going to start making D's with the black. A D around the back, through the big loop, and pull to the top. And you're going to make about three of these. You can do it as thick as you want. If you wanted to have more black in it, you can do four or five stitches. I like to do about three or four. I think three is good enough. And then you're going to take your black and you're going to put your black back in. And then we'll start with the white. Take out your next color that you're working with, put all the strings back in, and start making D's with the white until you get to the next mark that you made on your board. And again, right before you get to that mark, you're going to do three black stitches to separate your colors. And you keep doing this all the way down until it can fit your wrist. So now, when we're getting closer to our second mark that we have on the board, again, we're going to take out all our strings, put the white in, we're going to take the black out, and we're going to do three more stitches with the black. A D around the back, and pull to the top. One, two, three. And then you're going to take all your strings out, put your black in, Start with another color, put your strings back to the bottom of the board, and just start making D's. And you're just going to keep following that pattern until the bracelet fits your wrist. 
and your bracelet will look like this. And that's how you make a fancy Chinese staircase.